we will see the process of DNA transcription. In this DNA transcription process, DNA is transcribed into RNA and various different types of RNAs are formed. And we know that this process, the major enzyme involved is RNA polymerase. And this RNA polymerase recognizes the specialized region on the DNA that is called promoter. And we also know that DNA has different regions within the gene that are one is the coding region that codes into the mRNA and the others are regulatory regions that do not take part in the translation of proteins. And these regions are one is the upstream region that is called 5 prime untranslated region and the other is downstream region that is called 3 prime untranslated regions. And we also know that in the process of DNA transcription, many different types of RNAs are formed. One type of RNA is called coding RNAs and that includes messenger RNA and that codes into the proteins. The other types of RNAs that includes different types of non-coding RNAs including small non-coding RNAs and long non-coding RNAs. The information stored in the DNA cannot be directly used in the synthesis of proteins. That information must be first transcribed into messenger RNA and that information then can be used for the synthesis of proteins. One few, uh, few years ago, it was believed that most of the DNA, rather 98% of the genomic DNA cannot be transcribed into RNA. And that DNA is called junk DNA. But recently, many studies have been shown that proves that 90% of the genomic DNA can be transcribed, rather it is transcribed into RNAs and mostly the RNAs that includes non-non-coding RNAs. And from long non-coding RNAs as, are the one that transcribes 70% of all the non-coding RNAs. And it has also been shown that these long non-coding RNAs, they are involved in many important cell functions and they are also involved in many diseases including cancers. So we will now see the process of DNA transcription in detail. We can divide the process of DNA transcription into different steps. So first step is the pre-initiation. So we can see in the pre-initiation step, RNA polymerase requires the presence of a core promoter. So it is a promoter region and we can see that it is enlarged and basically this is the promoter region. So this region is important for the recognition and attachment of RNA polymerase. So we can see that before the RNA polymerase can bind with the promoter region, first many small proteins called the transcription factors, they bind the promoter region and after that the binding of RNA polymerase is facilitated. So various transcription factors that binds and they form a complex that is known as pre-initiation complex. So the first step is the binding of these proteins and these proteins combine together to form a pre-initiation complex. So the next step is the initiation step. And in this step, the actual RNA polymerase then recognize these pre-initiation complex that in comprises of small proteins called transcription factor and the binding of RNA polymerase with the, this pre-initiation complex is the important step of the initiation step. It means that the binding of RNA polymerase is actually the process that includes the initiation. So after the binding of RNA polymerase at the promoter region, then the elongation step starts. And before the elongation step starts, we can see here the binding of RNA polymerase facilitate 
the separation of the two strands of DNA. And this separation of DNA strand is very important and this is carried out by some of the transcription factors proteins and these transcription factor proteins constitute some of the helicases enzyme and these helicases enzyme help in the unwinding of the DNA molecule and after the unwinding of the DNA molecule then the RNA polymerase will read the template and this blue strand is the template strand and it is also called the antisense strand and it will read the template strand and will add the complementary nucleotide and will facilitate in the formation of RNA. So we can see in this diagram that RNA polymerase is moving and reading the template of the DNA and direction is in the right direction and when it is moving it reads the strand nucleotide and adds the complementary nucleotides but we know that in RNA all the nucleotides are same except for thiamine uracil is added and all the other cytosine guanine and adenine they are common in both RNA and DNA so we can see here the formation of this yellow color this is the RNA and it is being formed after the process of transcription and this process continues when the RNA polymerase reaches here then the further region of the DNA it will be unwound and the process will continue in this direction until the stop region will appear and it will be marked with the polyadenylation it means that the addition of poly A tail will start the starting point of poly A will be the basically the point where the elongation of the transcription will stop and in this way the RNA molecule will be synthesized and this all transcription will be carried out in the 5 prime to 3 prime direction because RNA polymerase can only transcribe in this direction and this will facilitate and will not be uh, required the RNA primer so the process will continue until the the stop signal that is polyadenylation signal will arrive and the RNA will be synthesized so this process will be continued for all of the RNAs including mRNAs and uh, other types of uh, non-coding RNAs so this process is very important and uh, after the transcription of the RNAs then RNA especially the mRNA will use this information for the synthesis of proteins